it's a time for you to hear and see so much of what a pastor does pastorally and sacramentally as we do this rite of installation. It's also a time when brother priests come to support the installed pastor and Father Bede in this case. It's wonderful to have so many of our brothers here today, a sign of the wonderful support that exists in this deep bond of fraternity among the priests. And thirdly, it's a time for all of you to pray for Father Bede. This is a very significant moment in the life of the church and you have a lot of TLCA and a lot of prayers coming your way this day, Father Bede, as we begin this very important ceremony. We begin at the entrance of the church and I invite you to turn and face the back doors as we process back. They come here at times of birth and at times of death. They come in good times and in bad to be with the church, the living body of Christ. Father B, will you as pastor welcome with all the welcome with the love of Christ all those who come through these doors? I will. This reconciliation chapel is a place of mercy and healing. This chapel is a reminder that all of us are sinners and all in need of continuing conversion. Father B, will you receive sinners in the spirit of Christ and will you help our powers to become a reconciled community? I will. It is here at the baptismal font that we are reborn into a new family, the community of Christ's disciples. In the very early church, before Christianity was called by name, it was called the Way. This font stands as a constant reminder that symbolically we are buried in the waters of baptism. We die to one way of living and rise with Christ to a new and different way of life. I will. I first entrust to you the oil of catechumens. This oil strengthens those preparing to make a commitment to follow the way and to be baptized. Father B, will you lead us in being a parish that nurtures the faith of all of those who join us? And will you help us? as we prepare people, young and old, for baptism. I will. I next entrust to you, Father, the oil of the sick. Through this oil, the suffering and dying are strengthened and healed. Father B, will you be among us as a healer, a reconciler, and one who cares for the sick, the elderly, and all who suffer? I will. Father Bede, I entrust to you now the church's most sacred oil, the holy chrism. Chrism is the Greek word which means anoint. And thus the Greek word used to designate, G designate Jesus as the chrismed or the Christ. At baptism and confirmation, we are chrismed as members of the body of Christ. Father Bede, will you remind us that we are daughters and sons of God a consecrated, holy people. And will you call us to holiness? I will. From the earliest days of the church and still today, the blessed sacrament is set aside and reserved in this holy place. The sacramental presence of Jesus Christ makes this a special place of prayer and adoration. Father Bede, would you teach us reverence for that blessed sacrament? And will you call us to pray for the sick and the dying and share bread with them? I will. May the word of God always be heard in this place as it unfolds the mystery of Christ before you and achieves your salvation within the church. Father Bede, it is your responsibility to see that the ministry of the word preaching and teaching is exercised faithfully in this parish. And so I now entrust to you the book of God's holy word. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. Finally, will you listen attentively to God's word 
and let it guide all that you do. Will your faith be proclaimed and break open God's word for our community? I will. This holy altar represents Jesus Christ. To the altar we bow when we enter and when we leave. Around this altar, we gather to celebrate the centerpiece of our prayer, the Holy Eucharist. Father Reed, will you call us to join with the Lord in his action of giving himself entirely to the Father? I will. This chair symbolizes your role, Father, as shepherd of the community. I ask you then, will you lead these people not only by what you say, but also by what you do? And will you, as the good shepherd and not the hireling, lay down your life for your people? I will. And now I turn to all of you, the people of St. Thomas More Catholic Community. Together we make up the living body of Christ the Church. And so I ask you, will you welcome Father Bede as your new pastor? Will you pray for him? receive him as a brother, and work together with him to build up the body of Christ. I now ask you to stand and raise your right hands in blessing as we call down the Spirit of God upon your pastor. May the peace of Christ give you the grace and strength you need that you may minister well to the people of this community. May the Spirit fill you with all the gifts you need to love them and serve them in word, worship, and good works that one day, you may gather with them around the banquet table in heaven where the fullness of God's gifts will be revealed and where people of every race, language, parish, and place will share in the one eternal banquet where Jesus is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Father Bede, it gives me great pleasure to formally entrust to you the pastoral care of God's holy people. Congratulations. On a very momentous occasion for St. Thomas More community, I have a heartfelt request for all of you. Let the community of St. Thomas More be a community of the heart, a place of encounter with Jesus, a place of heartfelt welcome where no stranger is a stranger for long, and everyone is included by name in the heart of the community. It has been a jubilee day. I, I, I feel the sense of enthusiasm and joy in the community receiving such a wonderful priest to serve you. I do ask Father Bede that in a community that is this large and this vibrant, to pray daily for new vocations to priesthood and to religious life. There is no reason in the world why we can't produce new generations of young priests and religious to serve our very expanding diocese my very special request to every parish in the diocese, make that a top priority. We humbly ask God's blessing. May the Father of mercies bless you in every way and grant you peace all the days of your lives.
Christ free your hearts from fear and anxiety and strengthen your hearts in his love. May you walk in his ways, knowing what is right and good until you see our Father face to face. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.